वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो हेयर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन शॉर्ट शॉर्ट ऑन कोर्ट फोर्सेस राउंड 898 डिग फोर सो द क्वेश्चन स्टेट्स दैट देर आर थ्री कार्ड्स विथ लेटर्स ए बी सी प्लेस्ड इन द रो इन सम ऑर्डर यू कैन डू द फॉलोइंग ऑपरेशन एट मोस्ट वंस पिक टू कार्ड्स एंड स्वैप दैम इज इट पॉसिबल डैट द रो बिकम्स ए बी सी आफ्टर ऑपरेशन आउटपुट येस इफ इट इज पॉसिबल एंड नो अदरवाइज सो वी आर गिविन द फर्स्ट लाइन एज the number of test cases and the only line of each test case contains a single string consisting of each of the three characters a b c exactly once and representing the cards so if you can make it a b c then we will return yes else no so let's see the examples so in first example you directly have a b c so you do not need to do any operation because it is already a b c so we output yes in this case now in second case it is a c b and you can swap b and c you can get a b c hence we output yes now taking a condition of no we have b c a so when you check b c a you can't change it to a b c in one swap hence we return no because we need to have at most one swap which is 0 or 1 so now how to proceed with this you can convert the string to a list of num list of st uh, characters so here in the first case i have list as a comma b comma c and we have our original list so let this be our original list so i am denoting my original list by this letter and our given list by g so my given list is let's take some other list instead of a b c so we have a c b so we are given a c b now check each and every index and count the indices which are not matching so first you match a and a are matched so our count is 0 here then b and c are not matched count is 1 c and b are not matched count becomes 2 so my count here is equal to 2 now in case of the third test case which is b a c if instead of this i have b a c then my a and b are not matching means index 0 is not matching count becomes 1 index 1 is also not matching count becomes 2 c and c match so here count is still two only so here also we have count as two and if you take the first test case which is a b c this one so in this case the count would be zero so writing it clearly test case 1 2 3 and count for it so first test case count is 0 second test case count is 2 third test case count is 2 now let's calculate for the next test case so for the next test case which is giving us the no answer it is b c e, a so a and b does not match count becomes 1 b and c does not match count becomes 2 a and c also does not match count becomes 3 so as count is becoming 3 we write it here and lastly for c b a and c a b for c a b if we write okay 
here I have C here I have A and here I have B so again my count would be 3 next for CBA if I write B here and A here so C is not equal to A it becomes 1 B equal to B so here also it will remain 1 and C is not equal to A the count becomes 2 so for fifth test case also it was 3 for six it is 2 so simply you can see that the swap is possible only when two of them are misplaced or none of them are misplaced otherwise it is not possible so directly you can write it as if our count is 0 or my count is 2 then simply I would return yes else I would return a no because count would be 1 or 3 and we can't swap the odd ones out hence this would be a solution so I hope you all understand this solution thanks for watching